Siegfried. You came, Wolfskis. Good. You knew it was me. Pierre sent word ahead. Your axe will be a boon to us. I heard your axe has been busy as well. Yes, I've slain many on the open field with honor. As Odin intended. It is our way. But it is not their way. The Franks dragged our Jarl Sinric from his bed and gutted him like a coward. They did not even bury him, just left his body for the animals to take. I raised this mound for him. You want me to join your side against these Franks? There is no side. There is only blood debt and vengeance and Helheim for those I split with my axe. All right. Uh, I will stand with you. I am only here for my clan. Tell me about the Franks. I know of blood debt and vengeance. When the time comes, Siegfried, you will have my axe. Good. It is as I hoped. Now we will feast, and I will tell you of my plans for Paris. This is Vidar, a more noble beast I have never known. The god of vengeance. It is a good name. Many Franks have met their end beneath his iron hoofs. He hates them almost as much as I do. I feel like I should get you a horse. You placed a carving <laughs> at Sinric's grave. Sinric won it from me in the home game when we were children. It is Eichthirni, who watches over Odin's hall in Valhalla. He was holding it when I found him. It was the only way I knew him after the animals had gotten to his body. will be the greatest raid since Ragnar sacked Paris and brought long ships full of silver back to King Horik. We will fill our war chest with silver and our mugs with mead. Blood and glory! Skull! This is not just about silver, Torka. He hates being disturbed while he eats. You know, Ragnar returned with more than just silver. More than silver? What was it? Swords, precious jewels, wine! Stories of a dead saint defending Paris. Horik was so odd, he freed the Christians and executed his raiders. Really? That does not sound glorious. thine enemy into thine hand, that thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good to thee. Kill the heathens! Bring me Siegfried's head, and that one as well. Leave the stripling alive to tell of it. The what? Bishop Engelwyn, this is a good night. All right, it looks like oh, we're going to be shit. in for a fight. I must be careful now. Horses give them advantage, but it'll not be enough. Keep watch 
Oh, these guys don't come off their horse very easy. Oh, crap. Okay. Let's see. Let's... Let's be a little smarter about it. They won't be able to do much. Now uh, they're poisoned. What did he say to you? Toka, see to the wounded and find the watch. They should have warned us of the attack. I told you he doesn't like to be interrupted while eating. We needed that soldier alive to question. Wild heart, level head. Oh, I like that. Where is Siegfried going? My guess is to find that bishop, Engelwin. He hates him above all others. It was he who killed Sinric. Yes, his sword brother and your father. I am sorry, Toka. Nothing has changed. If anything, the attacks grow more frequent, as you see. Renvi was right. I have to stop this before it reaches Ravensworth. Unless you can convince their king to surrender, you may have to kill every soldier in Francia. This battle will not be won with Axis. I must find a way to meet Charles, and convince him not to attack England. Remember, Charles murdered Gottfried. He will not honor his word. Better to kill him. The problem is bigger than one king, Toka. I must talk to him. It is what my clan expects. You may be right. But I am not the one you will have to convince in the end. If you kill Engelwin, Siegfried might be persuaded to help you find Charles. You begin to think like a Jarl, Toka. Twice our scouts followed Engelwin to the slums south of Paris. When you are ready, that is where Siegfried will be. I'll meet Siegfried there, and return when Engelwin is dead. Then we will find Charles. Evor, over here! So, <laughs> before I start doing this, uh... I, I've been trying to talk during this, but there's there's a lot more dialogue. What was that? <gasps> Did I just get a bear? Anyways, I've been trying to talk a little more, um, but in this one there was there's been a lot more dialogue, and I kept getting cut off. So, um, obviously, I, I I cut out the parts where I get cut off sometimes, depending on like if I can actually talk or anything. Is this? Well, Matt, the blacksmith. Yeah, let me. I would like to see what you have in stock. Wait. Is this new? This isn't. Is this what I'm wearing? Wait, what? Am I wearing that? Hold on. Hold on. I have to go. See you soon. Why would I be? Why would I be wearing that? Do I have to wear it? Like, is it part of the mission? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't... I didn't put that on. Weird. It might be part of the mission. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, someone was talking to me during the cutscene. 